Hi guys, welcome back to Finpact. It's been a while since I've made an NFT video and NFTs are set to boom. We're currently in a bit of a slump, but that's exactly why it's the perfect time to buy into good NFT projects. And if you followed my channel for some time, then you know I'm bullish on Ecomi. Ecomi has its native token, Omi token, and it has a VV app, which is basically a marketplace for digital collectibles and people can buy and sell and showcase their digital artwork. So much has been happening in the NFT space. Loads of projects have been popping up with new different digital artworks and different collectibles. And I was recently in India and I saw there was a whole scope for Bollywood digital artwork. I'm going to make some separate videos on the Bollywood NFT space. Now, before I begin into this Ecomi update video and where we think the price is heading, I want to talk about one of my friend's projects. He's one of the developers for Lazy Monsters Space Club. This is not sponsored by them. He's one of my friends and I like the work he's done for this project. It's an NFT project. So Lazy Monster Space Club is an NFT project and it has different monster digital collectibles. So Lazy Monster Space Club has been growing rapidly. I've been speaking to my friend who's one of the developers and he has been working so hard. And if you see their Twitter, look at the partnerships they have established with just their 150 million market cap. Flair Finance, Travala.com. I'm very bullish on Travala.com. It's a place you can basically go on holiday but pay in cryptos. Um, literally the future link world xdc pendulum finance and lazy monsters nft and they've had a new exchange listing on bit true official and also globians so let's look at the current price for lazy monster space clubs token so the it's basically called lgcy network it has been up 25.49 percent in the last 24 hours which is insane look at that rally up we can see i mean it's followed a very nice bull run we've seen uh, a bit of a rally up in may and notice this nft usually rally up after the major altcoins do. So when we see our blue chip altcoins like Cardano, XRP, Link, Dot, Bitcoin, Ethereum rally up, then once that phase calms down, investors seem to shift their money into the NFT space. And I will show you evidence of this. So first of all, we saw the initial bull run, you know, happen with all those prices around May. And then we saw the big crash. Money flowed into the NFT space. So we can see clearly that's shown in this price, the LGCY, price went up and then we saw another rally up recently so from the beginning of September now I just want to touch upon the website this is their lazy monster space clubs website so they've got a smart contract that's integrated with chain link so here we've got the team we've got world monster spokes monster business monster waifu monster creative monster and artsy monster can you imagine how a business monster would talk he'd be like many thanks kind regards I don't know that sounded like a man that was really bad <laughs> So here's a roadmap, a thousand lazy monsters will be released and then they have a play to earn game in progress that's in development. Gaming and NFTs are so big right now. And I think right now, because the prices are generally quite low in most of the NFT space, because most of the money has gone into the major cryptos, we've seen most of it in the green, we will see money flow into the alts. So let's go on to Ecomi and talk about some of the new developments. Now, some of these developments are not completely new. They're not from September time, but after the market crashed in May, lots of people weren't really looking and keeping up to date with all the crypto updates but in the nft space for ecomi it partnered with OpenSea to create an open market for digital collectibles so OpenSea is huge i will show you the marketplace on the nft marketplace scanner but basically OpenSea was recently successful in raising 2 million in seed equity so that they can expand their open marketplace for nfts and other crypto collectibles and now they've secured an agreement with ecomi which we know is one of the largest nft tech companies and this will allow users to trade and sell Sell their licensed digital collectibles which can be purchased through Ecomi Collect. Now this is fantastic for Ecomi because this means that Ecomi digital collectibles can reach a wider audience and they now have a new location where they can also buy and sell these collectibles. So Ecomi Collect is very similar to OpenSea where users can basically make transactions, they can trade the NFTs and there's an inbuilt exchange and a secondhand marketplace. So this secondhand marketplace will be managed by Ecomi Master Collectors, who will be rewarded a percentage of the exchange fees for arbitration, content approval, and escrow services. 
So basically, the NFTs that are purchased on OpenSea can also be traded on Ecomi Collect. Guys, this partnership is so amazing for Ecomi because the NFTs purchased on OpenSea can also be traded and sold on Ecomi Collect. This allows for interoperability in the digital collectible space. So it enhances cooperation in the community we have. Now, guys, quickly running through the monthly update that Ecomi has given, their social growth has been fantastic. 4,000 new followers on Twitter, more than 700,000 profile visits and almost 6 million impressions. Now, of course, we've had interviews with Al Khan, who's the founder of Ecomi. And we also have had five different new licensed partner announcements in July alone. And this is only increasing with Ecomi. And we've got VV releases. There's lots that's been happening. And the more followers, the more community support that Ecomi has, the better because that means more people are buying the OMI token, supply and demand, it rallies up the price. So let's look at the price. So the current Ecomi price is down 2.25%. Now we saw the initial rally up just around after March and then it crashed around end of May, similar to the rest of the crypto market crash. Now we've seen a little bit of a spike. I believe this was because of the OpenSea partnership and we've also seen a slight increase in September, but I believe now we can go upwards. If you look at the price, it's severely undervalued. I think we're going to see another spike up from here. And I say this because usually after the, we see positive returns in the rest of the blue chip cryptos, usually funds tend to flow when they calm down and we see it in the red funds tend to flow into the NFT space. And where else do they flow other than Ecomi? I'm kidding. There's loads of places they flow, but Ecomi is one of the major ones. Another reason I'm super bullish on Ecomi is that they have also made improvements to their blockchain. So VV moves to Ethereum via Immutable X. So, so now Immutable X has been chosen as their technology partner and blockchain provider, allowing for interoperability of VV digital collectible NFTs on the most decentralized blockchain protocol, Ethereum. This is huge. This is so good for interoperability. Immutable X is the first layer two scaling solution for carbon neutral non fungible tokens built on Ethereum. So it utilizes Starkware's leading zero knowledge proof technologies. Immutable X is able to provide instantaneous gas free transactions while retaining the security of Ethereum. So using Immutable X, they're negating the problems we have with Ethereum, which are those insane fees. Like I just made a transfer about the other day ago and I had to pay $25 to transfer via ERC-20. I mean, this is gas-free. This is fantastic for people whilst they're still retaining the security and decentralization of Ethereum. So this also means it's more interoperable and it has the ability to mint millions of NFTs and can integrate into Vivi's complex tech stack. So a quick update on August 22nd, they have this cool thing called blind box. So where they're not really telling people what they're going to release, it's like a surprise release. And when they did this, they saw more than 90,000 collectibles sell within 15 minutes. Everyone is scrambling to get all the cool NFTs. They also have digital comics. So look at this Marvel comics sold out. They've had continued AMAs and community updates. I find that really important with different tokens when they give actual updates to their community. It really builds that trust and we can ask them the questions we want. Now to support my point as to why I think right now NFTs are undervalued. Now remember, before I go into this, remember the concept I teach on this channel. When prices are undervalued, when the market is fearful, that's when you buy. When the market is shifting money into altcoins like, I don't know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA, etc., then money is flowing out of NFTs and into those and therefore NFT prices go down. So when NFT prices go down, you're getting them at a steal. And that's when you buy. When you see rally ups, that's when you don't buy. So right now, I think the market for NFTs has cooled down and people should buy in now in my non-financial advisor opinion. And then when we see those cryptos cool down, money will flow into NFTs and we will see the rallies because we bought the dip. So this is an article on Cointelegraph, altcoin roundup, time to rotate. Data suggests traders are shifting from NFTs to DeFi and this was released September 3rd. So people have been moving their funds from NFTs into different cryptos and therefore we've seen the DeFi tokens rally, which we've all seen lots of portfolios in the green and NFT prices have been cooling off as you can see in this chart here. So similar to this point, this article on QZ has said the NFT boom has gone bust. For now, this is the time to buy, in my non-financial adv advisor opinion. <laughs>
I love I have to say that but it's true I'm not a financial advisor you have to do your own research so yeah back to this so basically just to support my point in August we didn't see huge rallies up we saw that more end of August and September but in that time when we didn't see those rallies up in the blue chip cryptos we saw those rallies up in NFTs and this article said that NFT trade volume surpassed 300 million for the first time and this was beginning of August then this cooled off like we've seen the articles and what I've shown you and that moved to the crypto blue chips and now we're at a good time because it's cooled off and prices are lower so look at this nft marketplace open cc sales volume dropped 50 percent in first week of september now this is kind of a good thing in terms of when you want to buy in um open c is the lot one of the largest marketplaces in nfts i mean look at this if you go on this I mean, you can see this on DAP Radar on NFT marketplaces. OpenSea is literally the biggest one. It's number one. And then if I show you the OpenSea trade volume and things like that, if we look at the 30 day chart, it's fallen, which is a good thing because money has moved to the blue chip cryptos. Obviously, if you bought in at a top, then you're not going to enjoy this dip. But if you guys haven't bought in, then this is probably the best dip to jump in at before we see uh, price rallies in NFTs. So when the crypto blue chips cool down, it will flow to the NFTs. So yeah, guys, that's my update video. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when I release a video as a lot of the information is time sensitive. Also, I have a Patreon where I talk about what I buy and sell in real time for my own personal portfolio, my opinions on the overall market sentiment, and there's a lot of community support and one-on-one -on -one support with me directly. You can ask me your questions depending on which tier you select. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!